I showed this one and I explained what the CAPE ratio actually is. It's just the price of the index divided by the real earnings, real meaning inflation adjusted. Now we can see we're at a very extreme level. And of course, it's not difficult to know why we're at that extreme level. Everybody knows everything involved with semiconductors, AI chips, it's running the show right now. That's basically where all the performance is coming from. So sure, it could keep going up higher. It could crash down. Nobody really knows. But why is this important? Well, it's because of this chart here. So this one is showing on the bottom here, the CAPE ratio and the CAPE ratio is this value. So when they're high numbers in the 40s, say right here, there aren't that many values here. But what this chart is showing based on the CAPE ratio today, what does history say the forward 15 year performance would end up being? These are the results, right? Very, very strong trend. Anything in the 40s, there's not that many dots for blue. But if you look over here, it's basically flat. That's the forward 15 year rate of return. But when the CAPE ratio is really low, what that is essentially saying is the real 10 year earnings are still there, but the price of the index or the individual stock, it's very depressed, which means that the CAPE ratio is very low. And when you look at those values, the forward performance can be very good. Nobody can predict the future. I'm not suggesting that just because it's the second highest level in history, that that suddenly means we need to sell everything. It doesn't. But what it does mean is history says the forward performance when you're looking at some things that are super overvalued, just quantifiably based on real earnings, the forward results aren't that great. Another interesting chart, this is Berkshire Hathaway's cash pile, $382 billion. Do they know something that the rest of the market doesn't? Well, not really. They're probably just looking at this and saying, look, at these valuations, it's probably a good idea to hoard some cash. Now, fortunately for us, we don't have to make that decision. We're tactical investors. We can stay fully allocated into the market and we can cycle in one single day when we need to. It's not not a big deal. My capital gets to be invested all the time. I don't have to hoard anything. But just know there is an extremely strong correlation between today's valuation and 10 to 15 years of forward performance.